heard a knock on the door. I looked through the peephole. I saw the Marine and the chaplain, and immediately I knew that my husband was dead. My first thought was, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I knew I needed to call someone. My cell phone rang and it was Crystal. And she said, Mike, Kenny's passed away. And I was, I was shocked. It was disbelief at first because we had talked about that so much um, that I, I just didn't imagine that actually happening. We live about three minutes away. Yeah, yeah. So. We were like, okay, we're on our way right now. We run over to her apartment and I didn't knock on the door. I just flew it open and, and she told me, um, you know, don't cry and don't say sorry. Just be here. By the time my small group arrived, I was at peace about Kenny. And it was an interesting dynamic. They were there to comfort me but it was more of a two-way street. I reminded them of what Kenny had told all of us, that he was okay, and we didn't need to concern ourselves with him and his well-being. One of Kenny's favorite verses was, where, O oh, death, is your victory, where, O oh, death, is your sting, which is 1 Corinthians 15, 55. And for him, it was his faith that let him go fight battles and not be afraid of what would happen. And it was his faith that even before he left, and we prayed as a small group over him, that led him to, to even say to our group, whatever happens, I know that the Lord is with me and I'm okay with it because of my faith in Jesus. I was over 1,500 miles away from my biological family and Ken's family. But my small group, they were my family. What we learned, the biggest thing you can do during that time is, is to love and just to be there. And sometimes just being there to laugh and to cry, uh, to bring meals. Kleenexes, they brought love and support. Having the experience of Ken and Crystal, their life, you know, really was something that we all got to learn from on just the power of staying strong with prayer. Mm -hmm. The bond of my small group really reminded us of the bond of the Marine Corps. It's a brotherhood, it's a family. And that's really what my small group is like. It's a family. They're there through thick and thin.